This is Bill Knauer for Author Magazine, and today we're continuing our conversation with Garth Stein about the re-release of his first novel, Raven Stole the Moon. So, legends play a big part in this, in uh, Raven Stole the Moon, Clinkett legends. Yes. Uh, how many different legends do you use within the story? Uh, I go over several different in, you know, kind of the old stories of Raven, uh, obviously Raven stealing the moon, the, sand, uh, the, the, star, the stars, and the sky. Um, and there are some other ones that are a little bit uh, more obscure. These are stories, my mother grew up in Wrangell, Alaska. My great-grandmother was a full-blooded Clinket Indian from a town called Klawak, which is on Prince of Wales Island. And my, my mother had nine brothers and sisters. And they used to, we'd go camping as a, kind of a big family camping trip. And my uncles would tell stories that would just freak me out as a little kid. Like, so when you go into your tent, it's, <laughs> things are happening out there. <laughs> and that's sort of what I wanted to capture a little bit of by using the story of the Kushtaka. The Kushtaka is a clicket legend of a land otter man. So Kushta means land otter, and ka is a suffix for man. The Kushtaka was given the power by Raven to watch over the sea and the woods to rescue people who were drowning or dying of exposure. And in order to help them with this, the Raven, Raven told them that they could change shape into anything they wanted, but they could never change their little black beady otter eyes or their little brown crooked otter teeth. So if you're ever lost in the woods and someone comes to help you, and, but you notice something strange about their eyes and their, their messed up teeth, don't go with that person. Because <laughs> that's a kushtika <laughs> coming to steal your soul. Do you keep an ear out, Cause, because um, Enzo is based uh, on another legend you heard, but was it Italian? What, what? Oh, Mongolian. Mongolian, that's yeah. right, I knew this. Okay, do you keep your ear out for these things? Do you just, are you naturally drawn to them? I think I keep my ear out for anything. Um, yeah. I think that I'm drawn to these things, and, and therefore, uh, you know, they may, I may see them maybe before someone else does, in a sense, you know, because I, I enjoy these kinds of stories. Uh, this idea of uh, reincarnation and spirituality is something I try and put in all my books. Um, I, I think it's, for me, it's, it's what I like to work with. It's a lot of fun and it opens up a lot of interesting uh, discussions. Um, but in terms of uh, these legends, um, I'm not sure the Kushtika has ever really been utilized in a mainstream novel before. Mm -hmm.